are using the dilution experiment to measure microzooplankton grazing on phytoplankton and phytoplankton growth. Phytoplankton and microzooplankton have similar sizes, so it's hard to exclude them by filtration. That's why we use the dilution method to modify the encounter rate between prey and predator. By measuring changes in phytoplankton concentration over 24-hour incubation at two dilution levels in closed bottle incubated in a undead tank, we can then have access to phytoplankton growth on microzooplankton grazing rates. Changes in plankton concentration are measured from total on size fractionated chlorophyllae and from flow cytometry measurement. Since summer 2019, all the surface dilution experiments are performed in parallel to C13 primary production incubations. To carry out the C13 net primary production incubations in conjunction with the microzooplankton grazing incubations, we use a carbon-13 tracer that we add to the incubation bottles. And then these bottles sit in a deck board incubator for about 24 hours. After this 24 hour period is up, the bottles are filtered down and these filters are collected for analysis back in the lab on land. As you can see from the zoomed in video here, we're conducting size fractionated net primary production experiments on board the NES LTER cruises. And so in addition to the total primary production rates that we're obtaining, we can get the less than five size class, the five to 20 micron size class, and the greater than 20 micron size class. And we can observe how the contribution to total production varies within these size classes among seasons, years, and across the shelf during our NES LTER transect line cruises. Thank you.